Terrell Lewis, who is a huge fan of yours, as well as what happened when uh, with Tony Schiavone, said, Tony Schiavone has said at this point in WCW, he almost expected the doors to close at any day. <laughs> as a talent performer, how do you recall feeling about the direction of the company at this time? Wow, that's pretty stiff. That's pretty stiff, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I don't even know how to follow that. I love Tony. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I can hear him saying that. Uh, well, well, again, it was just, it was, uh, you knew there were mistakes that were made, but it was, was out of our hands, to be honest yeah. with you. Right. You know, and so. The good news was Ted Turner was still signing your checks and he had a lot of money. He was still enjoying it and still having fun. Ted. Yeah. yeah. So if he's having fun, what am I to worry about it? What do I give a shit? Closing down the show, the professor drew Landry with the best question of the week. Would you rather have walked backwards wearing a Winnie the Pooh costume with a jar of honey down to the ring and saying, Oh bother every time than doing this creative. What creative? whatever they're having you do. They're just oh. tearing you from Roma, sticking you with this. I mean, just, it's, it's a mishmash. As long as it was me, I was probably preferable than being Winnie. I got to send you one of our listeners did a graphic reenactment of what you might look like as Winnie the Pooh. If, if you were, that was your gimmick. <laughs> I have to send it to you, Arn. It's all in good fun. And, and we try to have fun and poke fun at ourselves on the show. But it is hilarious. I've been a lot. I've been called a lot worse things than Winnie the Pooh. Trust me. Hey, and Winnie is—he's one of the most over characters ever. So there you go. Probably for different reasons than the wrestling business. <laughs> well, listen, that's a wrap on November nineteen ninety-three. Thank you all for your questions and all the fun. Reminder, if your business targets 25 to 54 year old men, there's no better place than to advertise with us right here on the Arn Show. You've heard us do a lot of ads for several companies and it's because it works. We have a super targeted audience. Very little goes to waste. So check it out. Advertise with Arn.com. Now find out more about how you can advertise and be a part of the Arn Show. And as I mentioned at the top of the show, don't forget about that Winston-Salem, North Carolina event, WrestleCade, and where you get the opportunity to meet and greet Arn and Brock. Brock's wrestling. It's 24th through 26th, Arn's backyard. They'll sign your 8 by 10 Shake your hands. Arn, I think he's he's his cabinets are empty of those Hershey's with almonds. So if you'd like to uh, slide one his way as well, that would be, that would be nice. Right. Arn. Sure. <laughs> how, so, can, how can I question the kindness for, and the thoughtfulness of our fans? Arn, is there any other uh, uh, events or anything coming up to that? Uh, you want to clue our fans in? I see you looking uh, at your calendar there. Yeah. I was looking uh, the 11th. Uh, Brock's going to be wrestling in Jacksonville, North Carolina, November the 11th. Okay. If you're in that area, please come see us. It's uh, an association with DARE, and we know what a good uh, program that is, police department. There you go. Um, and that's it for now. The biggie is going to be Tallahassee and uh, for the two days, and then uh, WrestleCade, so. Russell K, that's the big one coming up as this show drops. This show drops on the 11th Arn to our audience, so that'll be the day that that Brock is there wrestling. So thank you for mentioning that. Definitely check that out. Well, Arn, uh, that's going to do it for this week's show. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Next week, we're going to discuss December 93. Davey Boy Smith leaves the company. WCW puts on Star K 93. And Arn Anderson, he is going to return to the wrestling ring. So join us next week to hear all about it. On behalf of the founder, the creator, the Hall of Famer, the enforcer, Arn Anderson, this is Paul Bromwell. And we'll see you right back here next week on another episode of Arn. Arn.